Alright, good afternoon everybody. Welcome to Two Boys Racing. This will be my first vlog without the boys. Uh, they're at school today at a field trip. So I've got our partners, uh, Racing Jack and Racing Char Char. You didn't get to meet Charlie last time, but this is our Racing Beagle. Uh, we love these guys, so they're part of our family. Uh, on today's vlog, we're going to do a product review of the Gripper Mount GoPro Mount, and we're going to talk about a uh, post that was on Facebook that I wanted to address and put my two cents on it, and we're going to talk a little bit about training. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is this post on Facebook. It was on the D14 parent site, and uh, apparently there were some issues with parents just hammering their kids uh, because it wasn't doing good. Uh, and I know for a fact that if you're not positive with the kids all the time, it just drains them out. So I wanted to put my two cents on that. You try to always be positive with the kids. I know we all get excited or antsy if they're not doing great, but really at this age, younger guys, uh, especially the 50s, 65s, uh, and Mike is on a 125 now, they wanna hear the positivity. They're not gonna be good every day, and I realize that. Uh, they're gonna tip over, they're gonna crash. Some days they're gonna do great, but it's our jobs as parents to support these guys. It's Easter weekend, so when you're at the track this weekend, whatever, we're at Valley, please keep that in mind. Let's be positive with the kids. All right, enough with that. So, the, grip, the gripper mount. I ordered this on Amazon, it cost $49. We went through various styles of mounts so far. Mike has mounted these things on uh, his fender, his helmet, his chest, a whole bunch of different GoPros. So I'm gonna break into this thing and we're gonna open this up. All right, uh, so I'm gonna I got it out of the packaging. Uh, relatively easy. What comes this, with this is obviously the gripper mount, uh, GoPro, the nut for it, and a looks like a safety lanyard to tie it to your helmet or something so you don't lose it. Uh, Mike did come back from the race at Moreland's one time, uh, did a few laps, and we lost his GoPro, so that'll come in handy. Uh, so if you were at Moreland's last year at any time and found a GoPro, let me know. But let's get this thing hooked up. So apparently it's relatively easy. You clip this thing onto your helmet like that, uh, and then get this thing. And I'm just gonna put the mount in here right now. And then I'll put the GoPro in in a second. Looks relatively easy. All right, so then after you get your GoPro mounted in there, it just clips on. Let me take my hat off and throw this helmet on, and I'll see how it fits or see how it looks. And then I'm gonna take my, after we're done with this video, I'm gonna actually get the 350 out and take her for right down the road. Okay? So right now, with my helmet on, I cannot, there's nothing obstructing my view. I can turn my head. So far, so good. Let's put a GoPro on it and go for a ride. All right, before I go for a ride in the 350 and check out the new Dango gripper mount that I just purchased on Amazon for $49, and I'll let you guys know how that is. Wanted to talk to you tonight, before we go to Valley this weekend, we're going to Lucas Lowe's Professional Motocross Training in Lennon, Michigan, and I'll throw up a site to that. Now, as a parent, do you need, do you have to have professional motocross training? I was, I was really unsure at first. Uh, Mike went, started going last year. Keegan's is the first night tonight. Uh, but it does a couple of more things. Number one, Lucas Lowe, and there's a ton of coaches out there or trainers, so where do you live? But I know Lucas Lowe Professional Motocross Training. 
uh, is fantastic with the kids, and that's a big part of it. The kids really enjoy him and his family, his dad, Brad. Uh, they love going to the track to ride and learn with these guys, and they really pay attention. Uh, so my number one goal for Michael was we love dirt bikes. I was never a motocross guy. I loved riding dirt bikes in the trails, this and that, but over the course of my 53 years, uh, I never got trained. A lot of bad techniques. So now Mike and Keegan, they decide, you know what, let's race motocross. That's a lot to it. Uh, and if you want to be safe, you need a coach to do it. Uh, it's a lot more than just getting on your bike and going around uh, in circles. Lucas Little Professional Motocross Training, they work on techniques, uh, they work on starts, standing positions, a whole bunch of things. And really, the coach in Lucas, he's there to support the kids. And the kids really love that. The kids have built a network of other friends. Uh, so is it worth your money to take your kid to a professional trainer, uh, coach? In my opinion, absolutely. It's made Mike a better rider. It's made him a safer rider. Is he going to be a professional? No. Is he at that level right now? Absolutely not. We're still in the beginning stages of motocross, but I'm proud of every single time we go to the track, I see little bits and pieces of the training session. So it is paying off. Uh, I wanted to throw my two cents in on training. A lot of people are just going out there, and that kind of reflects back onto that uh, Facebook post where the parents was just hammering their kids to do good, do good, do good. Uh, they're not like that. It's a coach. Uh, they're supporting the team. They're supporting the kids. Uh, it's pretty awesome what that does. So I'm glad that I'm doing it. Uh, I'm going to interview Lucas. I'm going to interview Brad in the near future. But uh, if you're thinking about it, check them out on their uh, Facebook page or website, uh, Lucas Lowe Professional Motocross Training. Uh, and we'll have more, uh, I'm gonna get some video tonight of us at training, so I'll add that in at another post. So everybody, you guys have a great night. Uh, we'll see you this weekend. We're gonna interview a couple of kids already. We got lined up, D14 kids. Uh, Slade's foreman's one of them. Uh, Colin Powers is another, so we're gonna interview those guys and we're gonna have a good weekend it's Easter weekend what could be better than that Easter weekend at a motocross track and maybe a basket of candy that might make it better peace out two boys racing Decided to take Mike's bike because I got to get it loaded up for tonight, anyways. This thing starts terrible. If you got any advice on cold start Husqvarna's, comment below and make sure you like and subscribe to this video. Windy out.
Okay, we'll see what the video turned out like. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week after Valley. Be safe and have some fun. Two boys racing out, baby.